COVID-19 specimen collection. Swab collection for RT-PCR. Pre-procedure preparedness. Explain the procedure to the patient. Arrange all articles required. Observe standard precautions. Adopt required personnel protective equipments as per the guidelines. Coronavirus, COVID-19, Specimen Collection Kit Instructions Use To collect nasopharyngeal specimens for 2019 novel coronavirus, the virus that causes COVID-19. Coronavirus, COVID-19, Specimen Collection Kit Instructions Kit contents include 1 tube of universal transport media 1 nasopharyngeal swab Smaller swab flexible shaft. One Ziploc specimen bag containing absorbent pad. One state health laboratories test requisition form. One ice pack and this should keep in freezer until ready to package and transport specimens. Oropharyngeal and nasopharyngeal swab. Instructions. Collect oropharyngeal and nasopharyngeal samples on Dacron. Rayon or polyester flogged swabs with plastic shafts only. Avoid usage of swabs with wooden shafts or those made of calcium alginate as they consist of substances that may inactivate the virus. Combine both the swab in a single sterile tube to increase the viral load using 2 to 3 milliliters of universal transport media. Nasopharyngeal swab. Use the flexible shaft nasopharyngeal swab provided to collect the specimen. Check for obstruction. Tilt the patient's head back 70 degrees and insert into nostril parallel to the palate not upwards until resistance is encountered or the distance is equivalent to that from nostrils to outer opening of patient's ear indicating contact with nasopharynx. Leave swab in place for several seconds to absorb secretions. Slowly remove the swab while rotating it. Insert the swab into the tube of universal transport medium, making certain that the swab tip is covered by the liquid in the tube. The swab is to remain in the tube for transport. Plastic shaft nasopharyngeal swab. The swab shaft extends past the top of the tube. Snap off at the brake line on the shaft, allowing the end with the swab tip to remain in the liquid. The tip of the swab must be immersed in the liquid. Wire shaft swab. Cut the upper end of the wire with clean scissors so that it is even or below the top of the vial, allowing the end with the swab tip to remain in the liquid. Throat specimen, oropharyngeal swab. If nasopharyngeal specimen cannot be collected due to inability to procure nasopharyngeal swabs, a throat swab can be sent as an alternative specimen. Throat swab tips must be synthetic, example, polyester, rayon, or dacron. Cotton or calcium alginate tipped, or wooden shaft swabs are unacceptable. Use a throat swab to collect specimen by swabbing the patient's posterior pharynx and tonsillar area, avoid the tongue. Insert the swab into the vial of universal transport media. If the swab shaft extends past the top of the tube, clip it so that the top of the swab shaft it is just below the top of the tube allowing the end with the swab tip to remain in the liquid. The swab tip must be immersed in the liquid. Specimen Packing and Transport Step 1. Use PPE like an impermeable apron, N95 masks, non-sterile latex gloves, face shield or goggles head covering, suitable rubber boots, etc. Step 2. Using parafilm, seal the tip of the sample vials. Specimen packing and transport. Step 3. Place sample vials that is primary container in a leak-free secondary storage container like centrifuge tube and secure the secondary container using a Ziploc pouch. Step 4. Place the Ziploc pouch in a thick plastic container and tightly cover it with a lid, for further protection and to avoid leakages. Sample vials can be placed in a Ziploc pouch directly, covered by absorbent material and seal using heat sealing or rubber bands.
This Ziploc pouch must be secured in another plastic pouch before transfer. Storage Store specimens at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for up to 72 hours after collection. If a delay in testing or shipping is expected, store specimens at minus 70 degrees Celsius or below. Post procedure Reassure the individual. Discard the waste materials as per the guideline. Remove and discard PPE as per the guidelines. Ensure proper recording. Thank you for patient listening.